everybody welcome to my introverted life i'm wendy and it has been a hot minute since i have spoken to you last probably like a month truth is i haven't done much in, much of anything this is probably proof positive um as you can see i did get the second part done so yay me um then i put it away because i was working on another project but I pulled it out to film it, and I just realized how much, just realized how much I love it. It, It's just a really cool piece. The guy's got skills. Um, I am wanting to change a little bit in the chest area. She is going to uh, be the... Uh, the more uh, boobalicious version. I mean, girls gonna be hanging out, but uh, Aaron's got a got a thing for the nips, so I'm wanting to eh, shrink those down a little bit. She doesn't doesn't quite need to be so nippalicious. So yeah, gotta gotta get that figured out. But I have set this aside for the time being because I started working on this here. Put that aside. Um, this is actually my own design. This is based on design I did that I have available on my spoon flower. And it is uh, my favorite murder saying, which is stay sexy and don't get murdered. So it'll say that, and then there will be a knife, and then there's like little stars, things that float around as well. Um, yeah, I just suddenly got a wild hair up my butt and was like, ooh, I want to get that done. And honestly, I really, really love how the word murdered has come out so far. Um. As you can see, it kind of is like, and it's because it's kind of going at an angle. And this E and this E is really different from each other. I don't think they actually are. I think the R is very, which makes the E look very this way. Hmm. Well, this is why I'm stitching it, because I will probably slightly rechart a few things, of course. And that might be one of them. Who knows? It also might just be the angle that I'm at. I don't know. It's nighttime, so it's slightly darker than it probably should be. And, well, yeah, that is... That's the only two projects I've worked on. Seriously. I have not done much. I have been uh, working on grime guards. I'm still behind on them, uh, but somewhat catching up. And I do have some haul for you. We will start off with this guy, Cricket Collection. Um, Skeleton crew. I saw it was either lollipop stitches or stitching in sequences, I think. One or the other that had done this pattern. Pretty sure it was one of them. Could be wrong. Who knows? It was years ago. But I was searching around on eBay and I found uh, this pattern as well as two other Cricut collections. And it was like, I think I paid six bucks for all three or something. So like totally worth it. The other two I put up on my eBay store. This one will probably go up on eBay after I stitch it. Maybe, who knows? <laughs> um, the second thing I got in haul, oops, sorry downside to using your phone as a camera is um, for for this guy I had to pick up a couple of flosses and of course 
there's no place around here to just go in and grab a couple flosses, so I have to get on and like go to one, two, three stitch or something like that, which is what I do. And luckily, shipping on one, two, three stitch is like three, four bucks, no matter what. So if I only need to get like three or four flosses, then I like sneak around through the sell items and the clearance items and stuff like that and just see if something catches my eye. And I was looking and I saw this. It was in the clearance, uh, let's picture this plus. 36 count Mellow Edinburgh, 12 by 17. It's linen. And it was like three bucks or something like that. Like it was way cheap. So I added that to my cart and, you know, that plus the few embroidery flosses plus shipping, pretty good price. And figured always good to have a little bit of something like that on hand. Now, since that is all I have been doing, I figured maybe I should go over my Stitch Mania plans. Does it seem weird that I'm doing Stitch Mania and have done hardly anything in the last um, month? Yeah, probably, but... I know I was watching Coffee Stitcher, and he said that they were um, going to be shutting down the group. They've been doing it for like seven years, and they're done. And I'm sure the concept, the Stitch Mania, will continue. But they have asked that, you know, nobody take over and continue calling it that or anything like that, because they will still be associated with it and people will still be bothering them about it and stuff like that. And I understand that completely. So the only other time I've done Stitch Mania was in 2017. And what I had done is I'd chosen six projects. And those six projects, I spent a day and got them started. Oddly enough, I still have all but one of those projects. And I'm going to let you know right now. I did not finish the other project, the sixth project. It did not get finished. I, I, I kind of frogged it because I'd started it on a linen and the linen turned out to be like 32 count one way and 28 count the other way and... Yeah, it was a fancy lady, it was a Mirabelia, and she was getting kind of, you know, instead of being tall and pretty, she was kind of shrinking it. So, yeah, that got frogged, and I have not felt the need to try it again. So, we will go over my Stitch Mini projects, because what I plan to do in May is the five that are left, I intend to work on. At some point in me. This is my first one. This is the only one that has been worked on again. That I'm aware of. Like I actually worked on it some more after I started it. This is the... Ravenclaw Crest. With the bronze... Um, eagle. I think that's what the... Illegal. Anyways, I'm Ravenclaw. Um, bronze Eagle. Pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the Eagle. Could maybe it's Hawk. Been a while since I've listened to the books. So yeah, want to say Eagle. And yeah, then it, you know, as you can see, this comes down. You get the whole crest thing. So, this is the only one that I've worked on a little bit more since then. Yeah, since 2017. Um, so, yeah. We'll pull 
that out next month and try and get a little bit more work into it again. The uh, second one I have is, oddly enough, another Nervalia. Look at all the stuff. Sparkly fabric. It is. If I can get it out. It's Christmas Eve. And I think I literally have one strand of green put into it. So, yeah. It is like... Not much done on it, for sure. See? There might be a little bit of green on this side. Yeah, clearly I didn't get very far. <laughs> um, the third project is this Dimensions Kit. This is Victorian Charm. Which is Victorian house. Um, when I first saw it, I actually saw it as more of a Halloween than Victorian. I guess it's because of Black Cat and it's at night, but yeah. Um, hard to see. If I really got too well for much done. I got a few. Um, French knots in, and then started some of the half stitches in the sky, and that's as far as I got. But it is cool. Uh, the next one I started was this, which is pattern. Mm, it's from. Uh, just cross stitch magazine. I thought I had the actual picture. No, as you can see, I didn't get very far, but I planned on changing her up quite a bit. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm turning her hair red. Um, I'm going to make her legs have stripy stockings on them. Don't remember what color I'm turning her dress, but I've got it all written in the in the thingy my bobber, so but I thought it was cute when I saw it. And it says it's not how you weather the storm, it's how you dance in the rain. Which I've always just absolutely loved that, so yeah. And like I said, oh, that's all I got. There's just a little bit of her face. And then the last one is a design works kit. Stay calm and pretend it's Friday. Which really doesn't matter for me as much anymore because yeah, I work for myself now, so Friday can pretty much be what I want it to be. Um, yeah, all I got done was getting started with the gray there. So the plan is to at least get a day in on each of these. And yeah, just kind of maybe get them going again. I'm thinking I might try and pull in my uh, Halloween Quaker. I might try and pull that one in as well as kind of like a replacement for the one I didn't do. Because I do want to work on that one too. And yeah, I just need to get back to stitching and knitting and just doing all those sorts of things again. Anywho, that is all I have been up to. And I go through little spurts where I just 
am not quite as productive as, you know, I was the month before or whatever. And this just happens to be one of those times. Um, been dealing with a bit of fatigue. Been trying to build up my eBay and stuff like that. I've gotten a ton of jewelry in that I've been sorting here. See, jewelry all sorted. So I've been working on that a ton and trying to get some stuff listed and things like that. And now I don't have more jewelry coming in, so I can actually. I think find more time to get back to my crafts and so you know excitement there and yeah so just haven't been as productive I feel myself going back into a kind of productive mode when it comes to my crafts so hopefully I will get back to you know little snippets here and there uh, showing daily work and progress and stuff like that. And um, it's been out of focus. Because I'm talented like that. <laughs> Anywho, I will get this one uploaded. And hopefully in a week, maybe two weeks, I will have another floss tube stitchy update for you. Until then, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>